Hey guys, and welcome back to Homes on Wheels. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brandon. I've got Heath behind the camera today, and we are here at Pinson Valley, Alabama, and we are at the home place. We're checking out this beautiful Deer Valley home called the Shiloh. Let's go ahead and get inside and take a look around. So we got a beautiful porch that we're looking at right here, and this is one of the larger porches that we've actually seen today on any of the homes. It's probably a good 10 foot wide, and you could you could put a pool table out here. I know that they make a really nice exterior pool table. You can put a grill out here, you can put a smoker out here, some rocket chairs, some swing. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty much your outdoor living at its best on a porch. Yeah, we're coming actually in the side entrance. Yeah, well, we can show you the, uh, the other door that you can come in if you wanted to put a porch on the other side, but for today, we decided to come in on the porch side. As you can see, we're walking in. This home that currently is at stage is a brand new model that has just hit the lot. So we're the first ones here. We wanted to get it for y'all out as soon as possible. Right here would actually be the dining room. So you have a really large spot to put a table right here that you could probably sit six or eight people at without a problem. You've got beautiful laminate flooring. The heating and air conditioning in this home is in the floor. And the one thing about this dining room that I really like is the windows that surround the entire area. You can see these windows over here on the left, they open, these over here do not. And they have really large window sills. And for those of you that like to plant herbs or anything like that, and like them to get sunlight, it's a good place to put your plants or a good place for those that have cats to let them lay in the window sill and watch the birds outside. I know our cats love to do that. Oh yeah. So if you turn kind of this direction and take a look, you walk right into the kitchen and the living room behind that. We're doing things a bit out of order anyways. I say let's check out that laundry room. Okay, let's go. Let's do that. That's, you can see this got a nice barn style door on it. It is a by door, two doors on it, which is really nice. But this is actually one of the only laundry rooms I've seen that's set up like this. I'll let you go in first, Heath. Okay. Oh, and I already see the place for the deep freeze right there, the freezer. Oh man. A lot of space. There's, I mean, it, what's cool about this one, and you don't realize it until you really look, is this is where your washing machine goes. Yeah. And that's where your dryer goes. Huh. So your sink goes right in between your washer and your dryer. And huh. I've never seen that in another mobile home, have you? Oh, I've never seen that. Brandon, there's a, there's a place for another deep freeze. So. Or something here. Well, I don't know what you want to put. Maybe I mean, I put guess you could put laundry hamper. Board, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Maybe an ironing board or a laundry hamper. Yeah, there's the Utility hot water heater. Yeah. I've uh, never seen that either. Uh, it's, I actually really like the way that that's set up. Yeah. And I mean, I guess if you, you wash over here, you can go into your nice sink. And one thing that I really like about this laundry room is most laundry room sinks are not stainless steel. No. A lot of times they're a plastic basin. This yeah. one's really upscaled. And there's no wire racks either. You got real wood shelves. Nice, big, deep cabinets. Really yeah. nice. And yeah, these are high end. You know why? There's a, th there's a third spot. Why is that? This isn't a laundry room, this is a kitchen. <laughs> yeah, he's kidding. He's <laughs> kidding. This is the kitchen. <laughs> he's kidding. You can't pay attention to Brandon. <laughs> so, here we are in this beautiful kitchen. It's a galley style kitchen that runs long ways with the home. Uh, this is one of the only homes we've ever been in too that has the gray color cabinets. Uh, I really yeah. like the fact that they are alternating. It seems like they're they're doing more and more with having alternate colors in kitchens and more modern day homes. Yeah. So you've actually got white cabinets and dark gray cabinets and it blends really well with a white style marble countertop. A beautiful beige backsplash that is real tall. See, and I really like this modern look. I, I do. Makes it look clean and sleek. Man. Yeah, I like it. I like the modern look stuff. Nice big window right over top of your sink. It does have opening windows, which is really nice, along with screens to keep the flying mosquitoes out, or as we like to call them, pterodactyls here in Alabama. They're massive. <laughs> nice big sink right here, single basin, and it actually looks like a copper color, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Like an off copper, and that's a that's a beautiful color. What color is that? That's an off copper color too. Matches the sink. Where's, where's the fridge at? <laughs> I have to turn around and look. Well, that's the uh, that's kind of like the uh, black stainless, what they call it. Yeah. And my wife is in love with that black stainless color. Really? Yeah. She really likes the darker color for some reason. Oh, you can open the open the fridge on this one. That's a nice size fridge. Yeah, it really is. That's about like the one we got at home. So, since we're already here, might as well talk about the price. Let's talk about it. 
Deer Valley, 32 by 74. As I mentioned, this is the Shiloh. We are at the home place in Pinson, Alabama, and currently their price is $179.9. Now, keep in mind, that price is going to change. It will more than likely go up, it could go down, but as of today, it could change at any moment. So pricing as of the day that this video is filmed is this. <laughs> Is that right? Heath? That's we, right. We, we're getting, Always subject to change. Every, every lot we're going to, we're getting that same thing. Everybody's saying, "Hey, be sure to let people know pricing's changing." So we're just letting y'all yeah, know. Yeah, the call the cost of uh, lumber is going up, and the building cost is going up. So what's happening? They said a piece of OSB like plywood was typically like eleven dollars over a year ago, and it's hmm. almost triple that now or double. I forget. Oh what wow! That's ridiculous. That's Here, a big yeah, this would be a, your pantry space. I would imagine. Of course, you got space in there in your laundry as well, but. Over here too. Oh, you sure do. That's a lot of shelving. That there? is a lot of shelving. Huh. I really like that. On this side of the bar over here, we didn't really kind of pay attention to it, but it's got a big area to be able to put all your bar stools underneath it. Okay. Which is really nice. That opens up right there too, it looks like. Yep. Very cool. And right out of this kitchen, I guess we've kind of covered everything, haven't we? Oh yeah, we've covered everything in the kitchen. It's got cam lighting as well, which really kind of makes a big difference when it comes to your ceiling height. The cam lighting, it makes you feel like you got a lot more room. Nice, big living room. I like that it's got the exposed beam room. Even though they're not there for structural integrity of the home, except for in the one scene, it still just makes it look really nice. Nice big fireplace against the wall. It is set up for your giant 90 inch TV to go right above it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can't plug in without a problem. There it is an electric fireplace. There again, kind of keeping in with that modern, sleek feel that, that we like. And of, and of course, you guys, I know a lot of you have said in our other videos, you don't like entering through the kitchen. So th this does have a front door. It's just uh, we started on the other end. Right. And there's enough room in this home, too, to do a sectional style sofa, as well as if you wanted to put a recliner or two, you got room for that. But one of the things that kind of stuck out to me, maybe it's just me, I've always wanted to have a piano, and I can see a piano against that wall right there. Oh yeah, it's plenty big enough. Yeah, it's got enough room for it. Not that I know how to play a piano. But <laughs> it's just like there the for looks. I like the way they look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna that may be daughter, a. I'm gonna make my daughter take lessons. <laughs> that may be a first. <laughs> nice size guest bedroom right here. Nice big walk-in closet with no wire racks. Oh yeah. Yeah, Kelly's gonna hate she missed this one too. Yeah, another nice one. Your wife, uh, she's been coming to you, coming with you to some of these too. She, she's she's enjoying. Try to do her own videos for the channel for everything. That'd be interesting. So we have a full blown woman's perspective. Uh, we're waiting for my daughter to get signed up for kindergarten. This is a good size bedroom, but as soon as my daughter goes to school, she's gonna have a little bit more free time. That's a big closet back there, man. Yeah, so we got everybody. We'll have everybody's perspective. Yeah, the guys, the ladies. Well, we we don't want it to just be one person's perspective. We want y'all to have a perspective from me, from Heath, from Kelly, from my wife. And who knows? We may even add more people before everything's said and done to help film this stuff and get y'all multiple perspectives. It just keeps... And different homes throughout the country. That's exactly right. We do a lot of Southeast stuff, but... Uh... You know, there, there's some of you guys, some of these homes are available in other parts of the country, some are not. So, uh, we'll see if we can spread it out a little bit. Spread the love. Nice, spread the love. Big master bedroom. Okay, so this is the master. This is the master. Does have a barn style door on the bathroom. And there again, this home is set up in that galley fashion. You know, everything seems to be running long ways with the home. And that is the same for the bathroom as well. Oh, yeah. Man, could that tub be any bigger? Wow. I'm going to turn the light on on my phone just for this back closet. We'll come back to the tub in the shower. This is your master bedroom closet on the end of the hall. And it is on the back here. I mean, we're 25 foot back from the bedroom. So that's something to keep in mind. They do have a window in here for natural lighting. But as you can see, the wood shelves continue in here with no wire shelving. And there's a ton of room in this closet. This is a big closet. Oh, it really is, yeah. Sorry about the lighting, guys. It's the bad part about being the first one to film some of these homes that have just came to the lot. Your toilet is right here to the side. It's not in its separate water closet, if you will. 
Over on this side, you have plenty of room for your two sinks, but tons of cabinet or cabinet and counter space in between the two. Got nice cabinets up above it with clear doors on them, and behind that, a massive shower. And we know with almost every Deer Valley home we've been into, this has been a focal point of almost every single home. Yeah, Deer Valley, I really like these Deer Valley showers. Got your bench, big wide bench, rain head. That's nice. And then last but not least is the nice big tub. And I know this is one of my wife's favorite features in all homes. She loves to take her bubble bath along with her nice glass of wine. No better way. Could you walks. climb in there? Yeah, I can climb. He's 6'1". He's going to climb in there. 6'1", guys. Uh, oh, man, I can lay down. I'm talking about... 6'1". So, look, you can put your arms down here, which is nice, and the water level would actually be all the way up to my shoulder, it looks like. Oh, nice. <laughs> you look comfortable. Oh, no, it's nice. It's got that nice slope back to it. Yeah. Where else would y'all see your home tour jump into the tub like that? The guy, I mean, <laughs> yeah. the guy jumped right off in there. <laughs> Guys, we are headed over to tour some more homes here at this lot in Pinson, Alabama. Be sure to check them out. We're going to put their information in the description box. As always, like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that bell icon and click on the video in the upper right-hand corner of the screen because we're going over to do another tour. We want you to come with us.